Hey guys, it's Savannah and welcome back to my channel. It has been a long time coming, but today I have some fun Dollar Tree fall DIYs. So let's go ahead and jump into our first craft. All right, this first DIY is more of a makeover. So I got this little metal truck from Dollar Tree. It is a Dollar Tree Plus. It was $5 and I feel like it has good bones to it. It's cute, but up close, like in the bed of the truck, it's very just bare. <laughs> um, I don't know who would put like one pumpkin in the bed of their truck, but <laughs> kind of weird if you ask me. So um, I just started by removing that and then I'm going in with my little chippy brush and then some linen white chalk paint. And I'm kind of just distressing the edges of the truck. Um, this red is like a really pretty already but i did want to add like some dimension bring out some of those like beveled lines of the truck and stuff like that so that's what i'm doing here i'm just going over especially on the edges and covering everywhere that there is red i don't really focus on the bed because you're not going to be able to see that but i did do the whole body of the truck Next, I am taking some of these pumpkins. They're from the Dollar Tree. They come with little clips on the back of them, but you can easily just rip the clips off. And then I'm taking the color agave and also some other colors, but we'll get there in a second. And I'm taking a paintbrush. I don't know, too much detail. And I'm just going in and I'm just painting over these pumpkins. I used a little barbecue skewer just to kind of poke into it. Um, and I just felt like that was easier to paint. Don't judge my paintbrush. I am so cheap sometimes. I just like, I always forget to wash them, but if I can cut the bristles off and still use it, I'm doing that. So that's what I did here, but I just cover this pumpkin and then I set it to dry. Then I'm just repeating that step on another pumpkin, except this time I'm using the color moss, actually celery but I just felt like it was too light. So I did end up going back over it with some of the moss and it honestly looked really cool. Like some spots were darker, some were lighter. And I really did like the way that this one turned out. But again, I'm just covering the whole pumpkin and then I'm setting it aside to dry. And then with the slightly bigger pumpkin, the one that came on the truck, I am using the color linen um, by Rustoleum and I am also covering this whole pumpkin as well. I did cover all three of these pumpkins by just using two coats, but I do go in and distress them too. So that kind of helps cover them. So then I set those aside to dry. Next, I'm going to take some Spanish, Spanish, <laughs> some Spanish moss, and I'm going to lay this in the bed of the truck. I'm kind of just seeing if this is enough. Do I need more? And that was plenty. So I then take some hot glue and I just lay some on the bed just to hold the moss in place. And so it doesn't fall out. This stuff is super messy. So if you've never worked with it, here's your warning. And then I'm just taking, um, you know, like just something and pressing it down, making it adhere to the hot glue. Now, if you guys did not see my post on my community tab, I started a new job. I know I have not been on YouTube for a while. I'm really just struggling, trying to find a balance between working again and still keeping up with YouTube because this is something I love to do. So I promise I am not giving up. I am just trying to figure out what works best for me. So then I'm going to take some of these wood buttons. I get these from Walmart in their little sewing section. And I'm trying to find four that are all the same size and relatively look the same. And then I'm going to hot glue those on to the, um, the wheels of the truck, just to again, add some more dimension, add some more color, give it that little rustic farmhouse feel. And I really did think this added a little extra character. Then once our pumpkins were dry, I'm gonna go in with some antique Waverly wax and my little chip brush. And I'm gonna start by just dry brushing over all the pumpkins. Then I'm gonna go in with some white chalk paint and kind of just add a little bit more dimension. Um, and it just, I don't know, it makes it look like the pumpkin is worn and it looks like a pumpkin. And then I'm gonna put the stem back in. I'm gonna repeat that same step for the green one. And you can kind of see where some of that moss came through and made some spot, some spots. I can't talk. You can tell it's been a while. Some spots darker than the others. 
And then for the white one, I will just do some antique Waverly wax just to add again, just some dimension, change the color, make it look like this thing has been in a pumpkin patch. You know what I mean? Then I just made this little raffia bow. If you've been with me for a while, you have seen how I make these. I literally just take one strand of raffia, kind of roll it up, cinch it in the middle with some jute, and then that is it. And then I'm gonna hot glue this to the white pumpkin, and I just feel like it adds a little bit more character. I don't know, call me extra. Then I'm kind of just playing around with the position, seeing how I want the pumpkins to sit and they weren't dry yet so i did take my heat gun and just dry them off a little bit be careful because they are styrofoam and then we're going to hot glue these down so i'm going to put the white one in the middle and then i'm going to kind of base the blue and the green off of where the white one is and then i'm going to hot glue those to each other and to the spanish moss Then I'm just gonna go back in and take some more of that Spanish moss and add that into some of the, like the bare spots, stuff it in, make it look like the truck bed is pretty full. And then that is it for this DIY. I think this turned out so cute. I have this in my kitchen. So let me know what you guys think. Today's video is a collaboration with Sarah from Juju B DIY. If you are not subscribed to her channel, you're definitely missing out. Sarah reached out to me a couple months ago and asked me to do a collaboration. And of course I said yes. This is just a little bit of the content that she puts out. There is so much to choose from. She has cottage decor, she has fall decor, she has Dollar Tree DIYs, she has boho, she has it all. So. In my description box, there is going to be a link to her video. After you're done watching mine, of course, be sure to go check her out. Tell her that Savannah sent you. And if you're coming over from Sarah's, welcome. I'm so happy you're here and let's get back into our video. All right, moving on. I am taking one of these little terracotta pots. This was, I don't know. I've had this in my craft room forever. You can see me and my daughter. I think my daughter painted this. And I did want to end up using it, so I am going to cover the little watermelon. So I'm just taking some linen white Rust-Oleum chalk paint, and I'm going to start by covering this whole pot. This is going to need a couple of coats because, I mean, let's face it, it's pink and green. But if you bought one that wasn't pink and green, it would probably only need maybe one, maybe two. This one needed three. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm going to start by giving the... Jeez giving this one good coat and then I'm going to set it in front of the fan to dry and then give it two more coats. Now while that is drying, I'm going to take one of these pumpkins. This is also from the Dollar Tree Plus section. It was $3, but Dollar Tree does have littler pumpkins like this. So you could totally do this with their pumpkins that are a dollar if you do not have a Dollar Tree Plus. Now I started by removing the stem and then we're going to go in with that color agave. It's so pretty. I'm obsessed with this color. And we are going to paint this pumpkin. Again, this is going to take a couple of coats because it is orange. I think I only did two. I think two was enough and it sufficed and it covered it as much as I wanted. So I'm gonna cover this whole pumpkin and then I'm gonna set it in front of the fan to dry. This is also a pumpkin from the Dollar Tree Plus section. It's just a little bit bigger, but again, you can totally find these at your Dollar Trees. Then I am gonna take the color moss and I am going to paint this whole pumpkin um, just like I did the orange one. <laughs> Pretty self-explanatory. I did leave the stem on because I found it easier to hold on to something um, and paint the whole thing versus getting paint all over my hands. So that's what I did here. Again, I did end up doing two coats because the white kind of did show through, but two coats was enough. So painted it, set it in front of the fan to dry, and then I came back and painted it again. Now you probably could spray paint these because they're not that styrofoam that eats the paint. 
Um, they're like a softer, I don't know how to explain them. So you probably could spray paint these, but you know, I like to do things the hard way. So I did just paint them. Then once our blue pumpkin was dry, I'm sorry, I'm holding this kind of at a weird angle, but I'm just taking that white, um, that I used to paint the pot and I'm kind of just dry brushing in the grooves of the pumpkin Same thing kind of that we did with the little one It's just adding a little bit of dimension to this pumpkin showing where the lines are and you know that way it doesn't look like a round blob <laughs> it kind of looks like a pumpkin so that's what i'm doing here then i'm going to take my chip brush and take some antique waverly wax and then go over the white and just kind of distress it a little more make it look worn dirt like it's been in a pumpkin patch and then i'm going to just go back over with the actual blue color and kind of blend it all in and make it all blend together Again, same thing with the green pumpkin going in with some of the white. Don't be afraid to get a little crazy with it. Um, it, it really doesn't matter. I don't know. I kind of like it. It makes it look, I don't know, not perfect. You know what I mean? So then I am just going in with the antique Waverly wax, blending it out, and then I will go back in with that green. Then we're gonna distress the little pot. I'm just taking my little chip brush and again, some antique Waverly wax and I'm distressing the edges, the bevels, the lip of the pot, and then, you know, just the body. Just again, you've seen me distress before if you've been here. I literally just feather out. I, I really don't have a rhyme or reason. You wanna hit the edges that pop out kind of, and then everywhere else. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing here. And now we're going to assemble this cute little centerpiece, topiary, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to take this jumbo popsicle stick and I'm going to glue this to the lip of the, um, the pot because I'm trying to give the pumpkin something to adhere to other than just the, uh, the edges of the pot. So that's kind of my thought process here. Oh, I'm going to give it something flat to hold on to. So that's why I did that. You don't have to. <laughs> and then we are going to hot glue our blue pumpkin to the base of the pot, not the base, the top of the pot. Next, we're going to take some Spanish moss and we're going to start gluing it at the bottom. Like it's coming out of the pot and under the pumpkin like the pumpkin is sitting on it so that's kind of what i'm doing here i'm just laying a bead of hot glue and then i tried to get it on the pot and the pumpkin to add some extra you know like hold <laughs> so that's what i did and i'm just going all the way around the pumpkin stretching the moss out and just yeah that's pretty self-explanatory that's all i did right here but i'm gonna make you watch at least 30 seconds of it just kidding all right we're gonna move forward <laughs> Then we are going to take our next pumpkin and we are going to hot glue that onto our blue pumpkin. And you could do, if you have like smaller pumpkins, you could do three. I think that would be super cute. But these, since these were fairly big, I only did two. And then I'm gonna go in and add the Spanish moss. Like the green one is sitting on top of some moss too. You know, like it's out in the woods and they've been growing organically and yeah okay so that's what i did there same thing as the bottom i did kind of tuck it under the little bevels to kind of make it look more like it was popping out and then once i got it how i liked it i then just trimmed the edges and yeah called it a day and you can't see this part because um because I just don't think sometimes. But no, this thing is kind of tall in the angle that my holder is set. It just didn't work out that way. So all I'm doing is just taking some raffia and tying it on the stem. And then I do make one of my little bows and hot glue that in the middle where I tied it just to add a little extra fluff because I feel like when you tie raffia, it's not as, I don't know, poofy as you would want it or as one would want it. So I did just make another bow and hot glue that into the center where I tied it.
If you are new to my channel, I am Savannah and I love doing high-end Dollar Tree DIYs, thrift loops, or honestly anything DIY that can save this girl some money. So if that's something you're into, I hope that you stick around. Hit that subscribe button. Also, follow me over on Instagram at Savvy Crafts with Savannah. That's where I feel like I can be a little bit more personal with you guys. Also, if you would like to support my channel, there is a link in my description box. It means so much to me, but also another way to support my channel is liking, sharing, and commenting on all of my videos. I promise to get my life back together and post more consistently. I appreciate you guys being so patient and let's get back into the video. So for our last DIY, this is definitely one of my favorite from today. These boxes are all from the Dollar Tree. One is one of those little drawer pulls, you know, with the star or flower. Um, actually, two of them because I pulled them apart and made two. Don't ask what I'm doing right here because, I mean, all I'm doing is painting, but I'm completely out of frame and I'm just in my own little world. And then the other one is kind of just like a round, not a round, a square box, maybe like a pencil holder. I don't know. So, but it is all from the Dollar Tree and I'm starting by taking the inside of the drawer pool, which is one of the smaller boxes. And I gave it a good coat of the linen Rust-Oleum chalk paint. And then I'm going to go in and paint one of the other ones, the Agave, which I love this color. I'm obsessed with it. Again, you can't really see what I'm doing, but all I'm doing is just painting the boxes. I promise you the quality of this video <laughs> gets a lot better. Um, but yeah, this is definitely one of my favorites from today. I think this turns out so cute. So then once that's painted, I'm going to move over to the last box and I'm going to paint that in the color Moss by Waverly. While those are drying, one of my sweet subscribers sent me all the new calendars that Dollar Tree has out. I was so excited and so thrilled. So... I was really excited to use them. So I'm taking the little October one and I'm cutting it out a little bigger than size because we are gonna tear the edges. And before I do that, I am gonna distress it. And I'm like, oh no, probably should make it look a little bit more worn. So I do go in and I start ripping the edges until I get it how I like it. And then I'm gonna take my small little chip brush and I'm gonna distress the edges in the front of this little um, picture. Next, I'm gonna take some Mod Podge, and the way I have this box is the flower would be facing towards the back. So that's how I have it laying. And then I'm gonna take some Mod Podge, lay it on the front of this, take a little Dollar Tree stencil brush, rub it in, and then there's gonna be a little bit left on the stencil brush. So I'm gonna take that back and then cover the front of this little sign. And some of the antique Waverly wax started to like smear a little bit and I thought it looked so good. I was so excited. <laughs> so while that's drying, we are going to go in with the brush that we used to do the white and it kind of just add some dimension to the corners and just add a little bit more detail to them. And we're going to do the same thing for the blue one. But after we are done with the white, we're going to go in with some of the antique Waverly wax after we're done with that and we are gonna distress the corners. So I'm doing the same thing with the blue, just kind of going in, distressing it, and then I'm gonna go in with some of that antique Waverly wax and add the darker um, distressing and dimensions that I wanted to bring to this like little piece. Then once the white box was dry, I'm just gonna go in with just antique Waverly wax because obviously it's already white, and I am just gonna distress the corners and the, you know, the little faces of this little box and add some more dimension to the white one. Next, I'm gonna take these little wood stumps. <laughs> I got these from Dollar Tree last year and I just still had them in my stash. And I'm just picking out three little stumps, stems, whatever you wanna call them, that I thought looked the best on top of the sizes of the box. I didn't wanna go too small, but I didn't wanna go too big. And then once I found the perfect sizes, I then hot glue all of them on top. Then once they were all glued, I'm just taking some raffia. And again, you can see what I'm doing. I'm just 
rolling it up, folding it up in half, and then I'm going to take um, a piece of jute and tie the middle and cinch it to make a cute little raffia bow. And I always like to split my raffia if you are new here. I feel like it makes it look fuller and not as stiff when it's smaller pieces. So I do like to do that and then I'm going to hot glue that to the middle of the stem. And if you haven't guessed yet, these are going to be cute little pumpkins. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going to split it, make it look a little bit more full, and then I'm going to hot glue it. And I repeat that for all three of the pumpkins. And um, yeah. And then that is it for this DIY. You can um, just let them stand alone or you can stack them like I chose to do. So let me know what you guys think. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it all the way to the end, leave a fall emoji. Don't forget to go check out Sarah's channel. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.